Yeah. Hi, everybody. My name is Catherine Generakis, and I am uh, one of the co-founders at City Grows. We do business process and open data for local governments. Uh, and just like Tim Draper uh, said, we feel like this sector is ripe for transformation and has so much potential. Um, we came out of the civic technology movement in Los Angeles. Uh, my colleague Vicky is here in the front. Uh, Steven is a developer, a uh, really talented technologist, and we met working on Ciclavia, our open streets initiative, and through Hack for LA. And we really feel that government technology should be as functional and seamless as uh, consumer technology, right? Why can't you track your permit the way you track your pizza or your package when you get it delivered? There's no reason that we shouldn't have that level of technology from government. Um, so in uh, the early part of this year, uh, we, well, I guess at the very end of 2015, City Grows won uh, City of Santa Monica's Hack the Beach competition. And that allowed us to work very closely with the City of Santa Monica and really understand in a deep way the local government use case. Uh, uh, this is Abby's old boss from Los Angeles, just FYI, Rick Cole. He knows he needs to innovate and use technology. He's not a techie, though. But he's empowered his staff, people like Jack from planning, to do interesting things with technology. But he hasn't always been able to empower them with budget. And I think that's a very common scenario for local governments. So we decided to work closely with Jack to take a um, process called the Worksite Transportation Plan that businesses must do every year in Santa Monica. It was your standard nightmare, like 10-page PDF that they would mail into the city, like into a black hole. Whatever happened to it, it was hard to tell. Um, and look, look what we did. We turned it into a transparent, easy to use, online process that uh, is reducing anxiety for the folks submitting because they can actually see which stage of the process their application is. It's increasing efficiency and understanding for folks inside of the government of Santa Monica because they can uh, see which steps might be slowing down the process. We're really in the early stages of building out all of the data display side. But we feel that, you know, city, like, there's no reason that local government folks who are on the front lines shouldn't be able to create these types of processes themselves. So our technology is completely cloud hosted. There is no technical, you don't have to program to do it. You can set it up the way you would an online form. Um, and that allows for local governments to innovate and test and see what works with their processes without having a significant upfront uh, investment, which we also know people just don't have the budget light items for that. So there's no upfront cost at all. As long as the data is open and public, there's never an ongoing fee other than we do take a small percentage of any payments processed through our platform, um, which is how we uh, grow as a company. Um, we are sort of, uh, sector agnostic, you can use City Grows for any type of public process, whether it's constituent facing or internal uh, to a government. And the, uh, oops, um, we basically are, we're not, we're not quite as glamorous as the pizza tracker, but we're getting there. So now if you file uh, a worksite transportation plan with the city of Santa Monica, you can actually see exactly what stage your uh, permit is at. Uh, and our big uh, potential, as we start to aggregate standardized, uh, consistently collected data from multiple local governments, is to really start to um, understand that data at scale. And we feel that the ultimate potential is to connect with, um, allow cities to compare with each other, uh, understand where their processes could be more efficient, and really, uh, provide better service to all of us, which is what we deserve as taxpayers. So uh, thank you very much. We're happy to be here. And um, I am somewhat inspired by the move to Sacramento story. So I think we were going to have to consider like whether we should be in Sacramento. Awesome. Thank you very much.